So a lot of people have been reporting that in my recent recruitment focus video, have a look up here if you haven't seen it already, that a recent FM update might have slightly nuked it. Now, I've been doing a bit of research with my building nation save in Malta, and I think I may have found the meta that both gets around the problem and nearly 7x's your results. So I only know that this works for lower level teams, so either your grassroots building up, or your building a nation saves, or your lower level country saves. However, I have a feeling that this might just work, or at least improve the efficiency for much higher teams. But I'll be looking for a few people to experiment with this and leave some comments below to let me know if this is working or not. However, let's get stuck into this new method and I say new, it's more of an edited method. There's a tiny bit more admin, but boy is it worth it. So here we are with my Cyrene save in Malta. So this is my builder nation, the same as second yellow card, much like last year. And I have encountered the same problem as a lot of people where these Brazil and Argentina ones have been stuck like this for a little while and it, I said in the previous video, it takes seven weeks for them to go around in their cycle. And even then, they're not bringing up fantastic results. Now, you'll notice a few little things here. When I do the individual ages, I've worked out that the 15-year-old one only works for really big teams. So, you, you know, your Champions League contenders. Up until you are, you know, effectively always in the Champions League group stages, there is no point doing a 15-year-old one. So that saves you one scout straight away. So what I'm going to do to show you this from the outset is I am going to delete all of these. So every single recruitment focus, and I'm going to build them from scratch. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing again. So I'm going to do 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 18 year olds and the bonus 15 to 18 one what i'm going to do with this one actually is show you how easy it is because that's all the clicks you need to do the potential ability is only for the recommendations and we're not going to get that far uh, so i still put that down to five star silver ability so that the scouts will still look for junior players and i haven't yet fiddled as to whether if you put that right at the very bottom it does anything in terms of where they look to start with um, but I don't think it actually affects anything. Uh, standard and ongoing here are actually irrelevant. And top priority might actually work better in the off-season when you're not looking for your actual transfer targets for your first team. You probably could get away with using top priority, but I don't know how well the game works with trying to do six top priorities, so I stick to ongoing. But the way we're going to do this, standard works just as well. So I've got a scout that's specifically good for Brazil. So I'm going to do a 15 to 18 focus. I'm going to put it on standard and I'm going to choose nation, South America, Brazil. Again, always make sure you want to tick this bottom box so that you don't get duplicate results because that should increase the amount of results that you have available to you. And finally, I'm going to do one for Argentina because again, I have an Argentinian scale. Now, one question I've been getting a lot in the comments has been, when you leave it to assign by any scout, the same scout is being picked quite often. That's usually because they are sort of the best one for the job and they can cope with two at once. But if you get past the number of scouts you have in terms of the number of recruitment focuses, so the equivalent of one each, it says that the scouts are too busy, even though some of them are double booked. Now, the best way to do it is, in theory, just to assign a scout to each one. But sometimes you can actually just assign two to each one and get results from all over. Now for these two, because this one is my Brazil one, I'm going to rename it Brazil. And I'm going to specifically make sure that Guara, my Brazilian scout, is set there. So he is. And for this other one for Argentina, I'm going to rename Argentina and make sure that Lattes is my scout, which he is. So all these others now have had their scouts assigned. So second for that one. We've got Sechinger again for that one, so see what I'm saying. Terzig for that one, who is my best scout by far, and Terzig for that one. Now, if you go into Scouting Assignments here, and you click on each scout you've got, you can actually see what focuses they're on. So, Lattice has Argentina, Pavlovich has none, Guara has Brazil, Sechinger has 15 to 18 and 18 to 18, Finca has none, and Terzig has 17 and 16. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 17-year-old one and move that one to be Finca. And then I'm going to change Sekinger's 15 to 18 one. 
to be Pavlovich. So now we have one per scout. I don't know how much of a difference this really makes, but a few people have noted in the comments that it does really make a difference. One thing you will have to consider is the fact that your scouts who are unassigned to recruitment focuses will be the ones that deal with your shortlist focuses and basically going through that list of players that you create. So you may want to double book a few and leave a few handy, or you can pretty much spread it thinly and have the scouts that are on the recruitment focuses also doing your shortlist work. So it's kind of up to you to experiment on that front, but it is worth noting you probably do want to keep one or two back in hand to be able to do the more detailed work. You don't have to do it through this screen either. You can actually do it just through the recruitment focus screen. But anyway, note that it's the 13th of December. We've got six scout reports going, so six recruitment focuses. Let's go forward about a week. Look out for the email that I mentioned in the previous video and see what comes up. One of these will hit early. So here we are five days later and three of the recruitment focuses already have players. Now, while there's not many, and I can understand why, you know, managers of bigger teams are not necessarily going to get as many good results, this is at least progress already that we've had. Now, two of these I already think I'm on scout, so I'm going to add them to my research shortlist, and then I'm going to get my scout report on them, and then what I'm going to do is delete it and recreate the focus again. Now... This is slightly more annoying when you've got it specifically set to regions. It works much better when you're just dealing with the ages. However, this does mean rather than having to wait seven weeks, you might get a few more players trickle through. But really, at this point, it's pretty much a done deal. So I might set this one a bit lower this time for the heck of it. Ongoing. Change its name to Brazil. This is why, you know, it works. If you want my advice, just use the age ones. Don't necessarily use the um, nation ones if you've got a small scout squad. But I've got extra slots that I can use on recruitment focuses. I'm going to use them. Now, Argentina's come out a bit nice. So, again, add them to research. Going to get reports on all of them. So, the scouts have got them in the system. I've got them in my shortlist. The recruitment focus has done what I wanted it to do. Bye-bye. And then we will go through the process again. Make sure you set it for transfer, not transfer and loan, because we don't want loan players. We don't want to fall in love with a loan player ever. Um, there's a few clubs that could testify to that. So set Argentina. And that's us done. And I noticed that the 16-year-olds also has there. There's two that look pretty decent there. So we'll scout them. Add them to my research shortlist. I'll explain the shortlist thing in a minute. And again, we'll delete the 16 yards and I'll show you how quick it is. Any, tick the any position, transfer, put that so it goes silver, 16, 16, ongoing, untick, done. So it takes me a couple of seconds each time and that now goes into the cycle. So we'll skip forward again and we'll see how long after the 18th of December, the 16 Argentina and Brazil ones come up. Well, I'm thinking about it. So I've put everyone into the research shortlist. Now, previously, I think I called this futures. This is maybe the quicker method of filtering out players who are interested in you and who aren't. So if you go to this screen, tick the interested in transfer and go down to doubtful, every player that now is interested in joining you and would at least go into contract discussions will now show up. Move them to your youth shortlist, which I've just put letters on front just so it updates the order. And then it means that everyone who is left in here well, you don't even have to bother asking their agent. They're not going to talk to you, either because they're too young to join your club, they're not interested in joining a club of your level, or sometimes they've just signed a new contract and don't want to move quite so soon. So you can still leave them in there because the scouts have found them, and you know you can keep them up to date, and it might just be that you have to wait for the contract honeymoon period to expire or for them to turn 18, because you will notice there's not many 18-year-olds. Oh, a 19-year-old's got in here. Bye-bye. You're not going to get homegrown at Nation. But then that leaves us with our youth set. So I now go into my youth shortlist and I have 88 players currently. And as you can see, there is a sea of five stars and a couple of four and a halves in there. So there's a bit of scouting still to do to check out how many of these are good. But each of these, if you look, the transfer value is no more than a million. I've got two million in transfer budget. Their wages, the highest wage that I've got predicted so far is £375 a week. So you can see what level I'm at at the moment. Some of them have got wage demands, so one guy is asking for more than a grand. My top earner is on 1.3 at the moment. 
And I'll show you him in a second, actually. Because I found this guy in a recruitment focus. In fact, it was he was 17 at the time, so he was in the 17-year-old's recruitment focus. And he's joining us in January. Fallu Sock. And um, annoyingly, he's only good on one foot, which is a shame. But he has incredible stats for an advanced forward, which is perfect for the system we play. He's pacey. He is absolutely everything I wanted in a striker. And, yeah, his contract is very, very reasonable, and he cost me 100k. And he was 100% recruitment focus. So, yeah, it still works pretty well, at least at this level. So in game, it is now Christmas Day, and boy is it. 22, 25, 19, 21 in progress, and 8 in the 16. So apart from the Brazil one, they've all had results come in. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that when I made the Argentina one, I forgot to set Argentina as a nation. But actually, this actually helps prove my point. So the Argentina scout Lattes has pretty decent worldwide knowledge, and he's come back with... An array of people, including you know, a Swede at the top, so he's come up with an absolute smorgasbord of people who are all very much relevant to the cause, shall we say, without me even setting Argentina. So, yeah, you could in theory just do five or six of the same recruitment focus. Just tell them not to copy each other's notes and have a different one from each scout, and you'll get this result each time. Um... So, again, delete that one. Let's make it properly this time. So let's do transfer. Let's do 15 to 18. I'll keep it on standard this time because it's one less, kit, one less click. We'll set Argentina. Make sure we untick that. Bish, bash, bash. Ready for the next one. Apart from I didn't rename it. So now the 18-year-old focus. Again, we've got an absolute smorgasbord of players. So, again, add to research, etc. Delete create it again so yes i understand to a lot of people this might seem a bit tedious however it works so 17 year olds now and again granted one guy there is online but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't buy him so again add to shortlist research delete all click the button transfer 17 to 17 and this time i'm going to just show you it by putting them all to standard so say that, that one less click doesn't matter the other 15 to 18 one so again add to research add to reports and as i say the scouts have done their job we don't want to know from we don't want to know the answer for everybody here so delete and create a new one again so another 15 to 18 one please so yeah it's a bit Obviously repetitive having to recreate them, but it doesn't take too long versus, you know, some of the other admin I've told you to do already. So the Brazil one has nothing. 16-year-olds, there's no one good here. What I might do is leave that one going as a control test so that you can see that the next time that any of these four come round, we'll show you what the 16 one looks like. So we've got Simon Pedersen and Daniel Msengi up top of this. So if they're still the only names there when we get the next run round, you'll understand quite how cracked this method is. And just to give you an idea how many of those players are actually interested in joining us, if I click the Transfers Doubtful button, that is 26 players that I can move into the youth one. So that's 26 players already that we've added to this pile who are going to get reviewed in there. So as always, keep an eye on your um, you know, youth shortlist. Anyone who dips below your threshold, so mine is four and a half stars. If they go to four, remove from shortlist. We don't want to know about them anymore. And the same goes for your research one, because if you keep the scout reports going, as long as you've got a scouting budget that's above what you need for worldwide, it's worth doing. And again, do that, and I've got two players here who are no longer going to be of standard, so there's no point even keeping an eye on them anymore. They can go. Now, you'll see I've got a few extra focuses on here. This is just personal preference. I have one that's focused, which is for players who are over 18. FA, which is for free agents who I'm tracking for you know either build a nation reasons or people who are going to become free agents loans because i'm still at that point where i would like to have a couple of loan players in in fact i will show you currently my loan player i would but he's injured and that's because it's latan's son maximilian ibrahimovic so he's been injured about eight times since i loaned him from ac milan but he's still it's a meme in my book um of course, the other one I showed you here was indeed a meme one. 
at the moment, I've just got a guy called Shake Maroob. Very nice. Uh, and then I have a list here of all the players that I have got coming. Either You can look in future transfers on the transfers, but some of these are actually free agents that are at the club. So I just like to use this with Keep Scout reports up to date to sort of see how they're doing. So I know that I've whiffed a bit on five of the ones down the bottom, but the rest of these are looking pretty solid. And here's my good friend, Fallu Sock. So... Let's scroll forward again a little bit further and show you this once more in action. So it's been another seven days, and here's the evidence that you wanted. Eight more, eight more players from the Brazil one. The H16 one is still on eight. Argentina only has one in progress this time because I obviously narrowed the field quite immensely. So maybe we do just let Latos go worldwide. Uh, the 18-year-olds has nine in progress, but the 17-year-olds and the 15 to 18 one have 25 again. So again, 17 year olds, 18 year olds and the 15 to 18 are going to be the widest ranging ones. So again, we're going to be able to just do the same process. And this is going to keep flicking and flicking pretty much on a weekly basis. So in theory, you should be able to just get loads of players. I've also just noticed Fanny Prince down here. Do I put him in youth or memes? And if, you know, one week you only get one result, much like this Argentina one, which. OK, he's good. He's really good. But, yes, if you only get one answer each time, we will get him on the shortlist. Uh, if you only get one each time, then it's just a case of delete restart. So this time we might just set a separate uh, 15 to 18. Do it on stand on ongoing, but we will set latter specifically here. So maybe you actually just want to narrow it down to your scale. But either way you're getting an awful lot of results each time. So this is the eight for Brazil again. So even some of these um, reports are getting better, but the 16 year olds, it's the same eight players. So this system really will speed up and increase the amount of players you've got. And then it's up to your shortlist. Basically, you're going to go through all your research and your youth shortlists and figure out who is going to be, you know, worthwhile, who is actually a talent, who isn't. And then after a while, you'll find out you can probably afford nearly all of them because they're all pretty darn cheap. And you're like, well, what position do I need to prioritize? Which one passes the eye test when you look at their stats? Because let's just pick even Trujillo here. Yeah, he's got quite a few gray stats, which are, you know, fives or low. And you're like, is he really going to be that good? But then you see 15 pace, 14 acceleration, 11 crossing. He's 18 years old. He's got room to improve. Will he make it there he's got 19 to 15 to 19 determination he might he's still got potential but again i'd like a bit more scout knowledge before i potentially commit to that and you just narrow down your scouting pull as you go along it is going to take a little bit of time each time to go through your you know youth list and then when you've narrowed down which players you don't want because your scouts have said yeah they're not going to be four and a half star or higher anymore bye bye you can then maybe go by current ability if you want someone who's going to make an impact now. I've had Benjamin Passos here on my list for a while because I've looked at his stats and I've gone, is he really, you know, worth, even though he's free, obviously, is he really going to be for you know, three and a half true stars? Now, he's developed a lot in the last few weeks, and I now think he really is. So he is actually non-contract, so I can just approach to sign him but he wants important player. And this is the kind of thing you've got to factor in. So a lot of them are just going to want breakthrough prospect and you can then get them down to future prospect or even youth prospect. However, don't be afraid to play about with these a little bit. When they're young, they're a bit more flexible. So if I made him a squad player, he'll probably reject this. Okay, he won't. Um, 400 quid a week. Let's just, you know, let's just do this while we're here. International appearances, because Belgium, that's a big nation. Are they really going to select a player that's coming from uh, Malta? Probably not. Three-year extension. If you make it into the Belgian national team, 800 quid a week. Jobs are good, and he's going to join us as a squad player. So, yeah, these are the kind of things to look out for. But hopefully this has been enlightening, and you're going to be able to apply this to your saves. I apologise in advance for anybody in a big team who's looking just for one the kids scout in and this doesn't work. I think it provides you with a better chance of finding them because you've got a higher turnover and your scouts can look in more places. 
you're probably going to have to concentrate on nations where the youth rating is high. So Brazil, Argentina, all the European nations that are well developed. So that's the kind of thing you've got to look for. Um, but again, leave me some comments below with this video if you want to know a bit more. Or if you're still struggling with your saves and you want a bit of advice on what could possibly be done and what to try out. And then, you know, when Sirens is a Champions League winning or at least Champions League competing team and I run into these problems myself, I'll be able to forward them on to you. Give it a few weeks, maybe a few months. And one final little update. So went through to the 7th of January. I changed the scouting to be standard and just be 15 to 18 for each of the scouts. So it's effectively as big a pool as you can get. Well, 15 to 18 year olds and just assign the scout. 21, 21, 22, 25, 19. So really those, and they will all be different results as well. So maybe that's going to be your most effective method. But try out, I've given you a few ideas now and you can try a few out. You'll also notice the ongoing one for the 16 year olds. It's still Masengi and Pedersen on top. They haven't changed. So deleting them and recreating them from scratch is clearly the way to go if you want the volume of results. And then, as I've said, just rely on your shortlist. Keep narrowing it down as it goes along. You'll still get your targets as you go along. And happy Wonder Kid hunting. So thank you very much again for the spot on the previous video. Hopefully this one gets as much love too and helps create even more legendary players for your saves. But thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you again soon.